हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हेयर अ वॉम वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशन माई टूडेज प्रोजेक्ट इज हाउ टू मेक दिस गॉर्जियस शेडो फ्रेम गिफ्ट बॉक्स इन साइड विच आई हैव एडेड दीज ब्यूटिफुल पेपर क्विलिंग पॉपी फ्लावर्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस क्यूट बटरफ्लाई एंड द बॉक्स ओपन लाइक दिस आई हैव पुट सम गिफ्ट इन साइड दिस फॉर माई फ्रेंड टू होम आई एम गोइंग टू गिफ्ट ऑन अपकमिंग वुमेंस डे and this is very sturdy and strong box and super duper easy to make so without any further delay let's start with procedure here i'm taking yellow color card stock which measures 32 by 26 cm and from left side i have creased at 4 8 24 and 28 cm since i wanted little larger size sheet so i have just extended it by adding some more sheet strip on the side now rotating the sheet and from left side i have creased at 4 8 18 and 22 cm now we just need to cut the corners to construct the box shape this is called the double wall box making method where you have double panel for each sides and in this way you can create more sturdy boxes so there is a special cutting method to cut the corners like this and with the similar method we need to cut all remaining three corners so all four corners are cut now i'm folding the creases and burnishing it very well using bone folder burnishing with bone folder while doing the craft is very important it gives very nice crisp folds each time now on the longer side i am folding and sticking the panels directly like this and then on another side i am adding the glue on corners and also on the top panel and folding it like this similarly repeating on another side and the strong and sturdy base box is ready now to create lid i'm taking one more sheet which is 24.5 by 18.5 cm from left side i have creased at 2 4 20.5 and 22.5 cm now rotating the sheet and i have creased at 2 4 14.5 14 14 and 16.5 cm again i am chopping the corners just like we did before to create the base i am making the cut portion here for lid as well and after cutting i have folded the panels so folding the last panel here and very nice and crisp 
lid is also ready now i'm just putting the lid on the box and yes it's fitting perfectly and matching the edges nicely so the box is ready now to create shadow frame here i'm taking 10.5 by 5 cm yellow cardstock and from longer side i have creased at 1 2 3 and 4 cm now we have to fold all the creases burnish it and stick the first panel with the last one to create the pipe kind of shape here i am using 250 gsm yellow card stock for today's project and the pipe is ready with the similar method i have prepared one more pipe now for other side of the frame i am taking one more sheet which measures 5 by 16.5 cm and on the longer side from left side i have creased at 1 2 3 and 4 cm now we have to do some markings on top so from left and right sides i am going to do marking at 1 1 cm each now on the second crease line we have to do again marking at 1 1 cm then we have to join these markings and then connecting it diagonally with the third crease line marking similarly repeating on left side then i am going to cut the pencil markings folding all the creases burnishing it very well and then joining first panel with the last one so the big size pipe is also ready similarly i have prepared one more so all four pipes are ready now it's time to join these together to construct the frame shape so just adding little glue and connecting it with each other and hold it for a few minutes and the frame is ready now taking the lid and i'm going to stick this frame on top of the lid it's matching perfectly from all the sides so our measurements are correct now i'm decorating the lid from outer side using beautiful pattern paper since i am using red and yellow combination for today's project my poppies are red that's why i am using red roses paper pack you can uh, create any color combination box of your choice if you are doing some different flowers you can use the cardstock according to that also decorating the base box from inside using pattern paper and also on the back side i'm adding one more pattern paper so that it can hold nice weight and the decoration from all the sides are done on the lid and also on the box as well Now it's time to create our handmade paper quilling flower to decorate this shadow frame. So starting with the poppy flower and for one petal here I am taking half strip of red color in 2 mm and making one tear drop shape. Now I'm joining total 6 petals together and wrapping it using red strip. to create poppies i am using 2 mm strips but you can also use 3 mm strips So one petal is ready similarly we need total four petals so joining all four petals together now keeping it aside then to create the center of the flower here i am taking half strip of black color in 7 mm on top of this i am adding one small off white color 2 mm strip like this and then from the off white side we need to cut this strip in small fringes so in short i am making here fringe flower
so fringe is completely ready now i am connecting half strip of black color in tmm with this and start rolling it using your quilling tool so flower is ready just opening all the fringes now to add some more small strips in the center here i am taking very thin green color strip dividing in small pieces total 3 pieces and adding on the black tight coil in a star shape so the center of the flower is ready now i'm sticking it on the flower the beautiful poppy flower is done with the same method i have prepared one more Now to create bud here I'm taking 1/4 strip of red color in 2mm making one tear drop shape I'm joining total 3 petals together and wrapping this whole petal using red color strip Now to create sepal here I'm taking 1/4 strip of sap green color in 3 mm and making one cone shape filling the cone with glue and sticking bud on top of this so bud is ready with the same method i have prepared one more bud now to make leaf here i am taking half strip of sap green color in 3 mm making one bended leaf shape Now I'm joining total 5 petals together and making a leaf. So leaf is ready. Similarly we need total 4 leaves. Now to make super cute butterfly here I'm taking One eighth strip of white, yellow, and red color in 3 mm, making one loose coil, and then creating the teardrop shape. Similarly, prepare one more. So, joining both the teardrops, wrapping it using red color strip, and the lower wing is ready. To create upper wing, I have used one fourth strip of each color, and created with the same method. Now, joining the lower wing with the upper one. and to create the center of the butterfly that is the body i have created the shape which is made using one strip this is simple leaf shape and the antenna is made using scroll so adding between wings and the butterfly is ready now taking one yellow color cardstock which fits perfectly inside the shadow box frame and to decorate this from corners i am just using this dressing and this beautiful stencil and adding some decorative form on all four corners i don't want very simple plain sheet in the base but also i don't want too much decorative designs on the sheet that's why i'm not using any pattern paper and just decorating it little bit to add some more features and then sticking it exactly in the center of the shadow frame and then it's time to decorate the shadow frame box with beautiful poppy flowers here i am using one piece of strip for the stem
like this. Then here I have prepared this frame using pattern paper and I have already added acetate sheet on back side of this using double sided tacky tape. Added one more layer of double sided tacky tape, removed the liners and then sticking exactly on top of the box. It will protect our work from dust and also it looks very nice. The shiny glass effect on top of this looks like the ready made one. Like this. And at the end I am adding the sentiment happy woman's day in the corner. According to the occasion you can change the sentiment. And also I am adding some gifts inside the box for my friend. And in this way you can make your own shadow box gifts for your loved ones with the paper quilling decoration. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I am waiting for your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.